All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some examples of repeating decimals and like how you bring an infinite series into them. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these repeating decimals and I'm ultimately gonna express them as the ratio of two integers. So let's just get to it. So I've got 0.27 repeating. Okay, so I guess like the first thing I wanna do with this is I just wanna have you appreciate like where are we in terms of decimals. So like from here to here, I go from tenths to a hundredths. So if I wanted to just express this like first part here, this would be 27 over 100, okay? And then what about here? So how would I represent this 27? So now, so this is tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, okay? So that is now 27 basically over like 100 squared. 100 squared is 10,000. And then what if I continued on to this set of decimals here? So now, okay, so this was ten thousands, hundreds, thousands, and then millions, right? So really, this is 27 over 100 cubed. Okay, and so now, like, a really clear pattern emerges. So I mention this because this is just effectively a geometric series. So in an effort to better understand, like, how would we represent this as a series? So what I notice is that all of these terms are going to have 27 over 100 in common. So what if I factored out the 27 over 100? What would that leave me with? That would leave me with 1 plus 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100 squared, so on and so forth, right? So if I take out one factor of 100, then all of these exponents are going to decrease by 1. Okay, so this really helps me see like what I need to do now with my series. So I can rewrite my geometric series then. So I can have n equals 0. I've really got 27 over 100. This times 1 over 100 um, to the nth. So there's my series. And so now, is this going to converge? Yes, it is. Um, 1 over 100, that is a fraction less than 1. So I can just use my convergence formula now. So I've got my constant 27 over 100 minus, or over 1 minus 1 over 100. So there is how you plug that in. And so at the end of the day, this will turn into 27 over 99. So there's my ratio of two integers that I was looking for. Okay, so let's look at a slightly trickier looking one. Um, so now I've got 1.351271 1 repeating. So I've got 1.35 and then this 1.27 repeats for forever. So the 1.35 is like kind of inconsequential. So I, I can kind of break this up into like 1.35 plus 0, 0, 0, 0. 0. 0.00127 repeating, right? So that's going to help me figure out like where does the geometric series come into this. Okay, now I want to put everything in like a fractional form because that's just kind of what I work with, right, when I'm, I'm doing a geometric series. So let's take this 1.35 in the tenths, hundredths, so I can just rewrite this as 135 over 100 and these two things are equivalent. And then here, so let's see, I'm in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So this is one, two, three, four, five decimal places. Okay, so if I wanted to just represent this, so I've got one, two, seven over really ten to the fifth, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five spots. So that's going to get, uh, that's the same as ten to the fifth. So we'll just write it like that to make it easier. And then if I wanted to write the next like set of decimals like I did in the last example. So now I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've gone eight more decimals like down. So this is gonna be 10 to the eighth. And then I'll go another three decimals down, right? So this will be 10 to the 11th so on and so forth. Okay, so I can use that same trick like I used in the last problem. So this 135 over 100, that's just hanging out. So what can I factor out of all of these here? I can factor out the 127 to the 10 to the fifth. So I've got 127 over 10 to the fifth. So what does that leave me with? 
1, so I factor that out of the first term, that just leaves me with 1. This next term will become 1 over 10 to the third, right, because 10 to the eighth divided by 10 to the fifth will leave me with 10 to the third. And then the next one will leave me with uh, 10 to the sixth, so on and so forth. So I find this to be very helpful because this helps me to figure out what to write as a series, and then that makes it much easier to figure out what to do next. Okay, so let me clear some space. All right, so I've got this 135 over 100, and then I've got this sum. So I've got this 127 over 10 to the fifth times 1 over 10 to the third to the n. Right, so there's, there's our sum. So, okay, so now this is again just geometric, so this is definitely a fraction less than 1. So I can rewrite this as 135 over 100. And then, okay, so this will be 127 over 10 to the fifth, that's my constant, and then 1 minus 1 over 10 to the third. Okay, so I can just do some calculations here to get that this is going to come out to 127 over 999,900. And then if I go through and I get a, get a common denominator and, and do all that good stuff, this will eventually come out to 134,999,2 over 99,900. <laughs> So um, yeah, you can get a common denominator and collect all that together, and so that's what you're gonna get. And so remember, like you also do actually need to figure out what this is, because the question asks for us to express as the ratio of two integers. These are two integers. So if you plugged this back into your calculator, you would just get this, and that was not what the question asked for. So um, you know, you, you just gotta do a little bit of you know annoying algebra to get to that, but you know it's just two fractions. So um, okay. So that's it for this video. I will talk to you guys in the next one.